Hi, welcome to Painting with Kevin. I'm Kevin Miller. I thought today we'd do a neat little colorful mountain scene. So we're going to run the colors across the screen that I'll be using today if you'd like to paint along with us. And while we're doing that, I'm going to bring you up here to the easel and I'll show you what I have. I've got a 16 by 20 canvas, but you can use any size you want. And what I've done is taken a thin coat of a mixture of titanium white and linseed oil, about 50-50 of each of those, and covered the entire canvas with it. And with that, I think we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab a two inch brush here and I'm going to start out with a little bit of bright yellow. Just going into my, my palette here, load my two inch brush and we'll go up here on the canvas and just kind of pick a place. I'm going to put this one fairly heavy because I want these colors to be bright. So we'll just kind of put them in here a little bit. Well, that's a good start. Without cleaning my brush, I'm going to go ahead and grab some red here. Just some bright red right here on this same brush. Not cleaning the brush at all. Let's go out around the, around the edge of this yellow here. Maybe bring it down here a little. Maybe brush it just a little bit like this. Let it blend a little bit with that yellow. And then, same thing, without cleaning my brush, I'm going to go into some, actually I'm going to do a mixture is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take uh, a little blue, a little blue, and I'm going to mix it in with this, this red here. A little blue mixed in with this red. Get kind of a purple color. Just mixing it just right on the brush. No big deal. Right here on the brush. That's gonna be really strong, so it's gonna jump off the jump off the brush here, but we get a neat purple color here. Bring it on down and around. Here. And once I have that. Let's just go ahead and let's go ahead right back into that blue. And we'll put it up here. Maybe come up here in the corner and work it down a little bit into my purple. Grab a little bit more. Let's put some down here. Just kind of. Kind of filling it in, get the whole canvas painted right at the start. And since I want this nice and bold, I'm just going to put it on a little heavier. A little here, maybe even a little more up here in the corner. Darken him down. Catch a little bit up here too. Hopefully we don't get him too far down into the yellow so we don't end up with some green, but we should be okay. Okay, with that, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Rather than cleaning my brush here, I'm just gonna sneak over here and cheat and pick up another clean two-inch brush. I'm just gonna go right back over this and just blend us a little, just like this. Right here. But I'm going to blend from the yellow and work my way outward. Don't really want to go out into that blue and blend in toward the center because I get that too much blue on my brush and come in toward that yellow, you know what's going to happen. So I'll just blend this out. Right like this. A 
one across here. There's that good old shed and brush. Well, he's going to stay in there, I guess. Okay. Something along this line. Okay. All right, I think we can work with that. Let's go ahead, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and put a little mountain in here. I'm going to grab a little burnt sienna here, kind of a kind of a reddish brown color. And I'm going to move it over here and let's do this. Let's take a little bit of lamp black. Not much, that lamp black's crazy, crazy strong color. You got to watch it, lots of heavy pigment in that. Let me kind of a, a dark brown color here. Now, as I've mentioned before, when you're doing these sorts of things, you could use a Van Dyke brown or a, or a dark sienna or something like that. But a lot of times I like to work with a, a burnt sienna and that way and it just add my, add my black to it and I can kind of make it whatever, whatever color of brown I want. Okay, so I'm going to put a bead of paint on my knife and watch how I do this. All right, I'm going to take a bead of paint and just kind of pull it toward me and let it slide off to the side a little bit as you do it. Should put you a nice little bead of paint on the knife. Okay, let's just pick a place up in here. Let's find maybe a good place for a mountain. Oh, maybe right here, something like that. And don't think too hard about this when you do it. Just a little bit like this. And I hold the knife like this. I hold the knife like this. And we'll pull it out like that. Kind of here, scrape away the excess paint. Let's just sneak in and grab, I'll just use that brush we were using, that two inch brush. Pull it out like this, as such. And it looks like the start of a good mountain. Right here. And we'll put a quick outline here. And I think we'll start with this. And this looks like a pretty good place for a break. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Hi, welcome back. I thought we'd go ahead and pick up where we left off. I'm working with my palette knife here and we started on this second mountain and we'll go ahead and develop him just a little bit better. Maybe give him a couple, a couple little humps and bumps in him, just make him a little bit more interesting. Pull down here, a little extra paint. Let's see what we can do here. Take that, scratch away a little excess, and we'll pick up a two inch brush. Just that one we used to blend out our, blend out our sky. Cross like this. Maybe take it down this direction. And just brushing him out, right as such. Okay, all right, let's grab our palette knife again. I think maybe we'll put some, uh, put some highlights on this mountain. So I'm gonna take uh, some of this blue, maybe put a little white in it, a little titanium white, just kind of lighten it up here a little. Still keeping it blue though, still keeping it kind of blue. And I'll put a really small bead of paint on my knife. Let's go over on this one, take a little bit here. Just kind of pulling it lightly, not too much. Don't want to overdo it. And let's go over on this one while we're working. Take a little bit over here. Some here. Maybe even a little bit over on this peak. Why not? Okay. Got that. Let's add a little, let's put some different things in it. Let's pick up a little yellow ochre. Let's add a little color in a few places just because we want to. Ooh, that's pretty bright. Remember what I've told you before, if you get it a little brighter than you want it, it's not a big deal. You can go back over it and work it a little bit here. Like that, like this. Go back in a little bit of blue, just kind of alternating back and forth. And I think we can do a little shadow color. So let's use that same blue and just lighten it up a little. Add a little bit more white to our blue mixture. Let's do a little bit, maybe on this side. 
just a little bit, just kind of pulling it this way. Maybe a little heavier. Try a little here. A little there. Maybe a little there. Do a little on this side too. And across. Okay, and while I'm working it, just wipe my knife off. I'm go back into that dark color and pick up a little more of the dark. And when I say dark, that's that burnt sienna mixed with a little bit of the lamp black, just to kind of darken him down just a little in a few places. Here, just to get him a little, little, little darker. Okay, let me grab my brush. Just that clean, or that dirty two inch brush I've been using, just pull this out a little bit more. Maybe lightly like this. A little here. And I think we're in pretty good shape there. Tell you what, time for maybe a few trees in this. Let's go, um, let's find some sap green. Pick up our knife and let's take some sap green. Let's mix it with some phthalo blue. Let's mix this paint up. We want to get kind of a, a bluish green color. Mix these two together. Lots of sap green, lots of phthalo blue. Mix them together, and I might just put a pinch, and I, just a little bit, not much, just a pinch of lamp black in here, just to darken it down a little bit more. Okay, that looks looks pretty good there. Let's see if we can work with this. Just a dab more black in there. Okay, let's find us a, let's find us a fan brush to work with. See if I can find an old worn out fan brush here, maybe we can work with. Let's just grab a fan brush. And let's go right back into that paint we just mixed, that greenish mixture. And let's pick a place here, maybe right in here. See if we can't put some distant trees in here. A few distant, distant, distant trees, just kind of Kind of tapping them in, kind of tapping them in. Not really brushing so much, just tapping them in to make them look kind of rough here. You can see my, you can see my canvas kind of vibrating there, so you can see them kind of tapping them. And don't be afraid to vary the heights of these. You know, some tall, some short, some dark, some light. Kind of run it across the base here. Maybe a little more. And a little here. And let's maybe sneak in front and even go a little darker right in front of it if we can. Maybe give it a little depth. See that? How I do that? It makes it makes it look a little little closer here. Right like that. Across here. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and pick up a, oh, let's pick up a one-inch brush. Let's go ahead and tap this out just a little right down in here. Just kind of haze this out a little bit. Make it misty. Look like it's kind of out there somewhere. Just kind of set it back in the canvas a little bit. And I think that looks like a good place to take another break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Hi, welcome back. Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. I'm working with my fan brush here. I've got uh, some of that sap green mixed with some blue. It's developing a few trees here. So we're going to go in and as we move forward in this, we're going to just put a little bit more detail on these trees. So really loading my brush up here. I'm just going to use the corner of my brush and just place some trees right here in front of this distant, distant trees we're working with. Put them in here, maybe put it dark enough. Hopefully it'll show up for us. I'll tell you what, let's put another one right here. Just touching with the brush and then just using the corner of the brush, turning it up at an angle. Coming on down through here. Just trying to get the shape looking good. Reloading my brush so I have plenty of paint. Bringing it on down. And 
land him right here. I think we can do another one, maybe over here. Let's put a small one right in here. Make him show up a little. Down this way. Right in here. I think that's pretty good. Maybe get some grass or something for it to sit on. And let's go ahead and set that aside. I think I'll go ahead and pick up my knife here. Grab some of that brown mixture, maybe put a little bit more black in it. And let's give these trees something to rest on, maybe a little shoreline or something. Maybe across here. I can just put a little shoreline. Just kind of drag my knife across right up in here. Across like this. Maybe a little heavier. And we got that. While we're at it, let's go ahead and put maybe a little, just a little bit of highlight or something on here. I'm just using some blue. Some of that blue we were using, that blue and white mixture to highlight our mountain. I'll put a little bit of, a little bit of color right here on the bank. Doesn't look too harsh. Point him out like this. Since we're working that color, why don't we just go ahead and use a little bit more of that. Maybe a little bit more brown mixed here. A little black, get a good dark color. Now let's do something on the, maybe the right hand side of this, this canvas here. Maybe, oh, I don't know, right in here, something like this. Let's take this down like this. Just kind of adding, adding some paint on here, maybe down like that. A little here, set my edge a little better. Put a couple bumps on him to make him interesting. Maybe take him out like this. While I've got that, I'm going to pick up another fan brush. A clean one, I hope. Let's take this and pull it on around here, right like this. Pull it out that way and maybe on around like this. Just kind of let him swoop around there, like this. Maybe straight out here, okay? Go back and grab that palette knife again. Still working with that brown and black mixture. Looks like I got a little green in there. I guess I'll work with that, huh? A little here, just make that a little heavier. Up in here, while I'm doing this, let's go ahead and wipe my knife off here. Let's put a little highlight on that side there. Maybe we'll grab some yellow ochre here. A little here, maybe a little, little highlight down through here. Just kind of putting it on. Nothing, don't, don't overthink it. Maybe grab a little white in some places. Make this a rough, rocky ledge here or something. Who knows? I like that, uh, I like that ochre so well, and we'll grab a little more right in here. Maybe even grab a little red a few places. Right in here. Okay. Along my shoreline. A little more up in here. And still using my knife. I think I'll just go ahead and grab some white here. Put a bead of paint. Let's put a little, sh just a little, oh, a little shoreline or something. Right in here, maybe like that. Just keep your knife horizontal. Keep the top part of your knife. In other words, that flat edge there, keep it horizontal. And just kind of scrub it in here. Let's see if we can't put a little, a little bit of water right across through here. Maybe like this. Even do something out here in the water just to make it interesting. Right like that. Fool with this a little more. Just to darken him down in some places to kind of fool with it. That'd be a really good place for a cave right there, but not in this painting. And I'm just kind of fooling here a little bit. Tell you while I'm at it, 
let's grab uh, let's grab a knife here and let's touch here in a few places. Maybe there, maybe one here, like this. Maybe there's something up here, like that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe something down this way, like there. And let's don't have everything going the same direction. Let's go back this way for a minute. Something like that. Maybe even something here. A few little odds and ends here. Grab them a brush here. We'll start to put a little foliage on. Just to get a start. And I think with this, we'll take a little break. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Hi, welcome back. We'll go ahead and pick up where we left off. I was working with my fan brush, and we we're putting a little, little foliage on these trees. And I'm just kind of uh, all back in a little color in here with some of this, some of this green mixture that I had. Uh, a little green, a little phthalo blue. And that's what I'm working with right here. We'll put a little bit more on here in a few places. Maybe across here. Not like that. And a little here. Maybe across here. Something like this. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and oh, let's grab a small brush. Just a small little, little round. Just go into some of that dark color, that brown and black mixture. And let's put a couple little small limbs on here in a few places. Not many, just a place or two. Doesn't need much. Just so it doesn't look like all these are floating in the air. So something like that. Not much at all, though. Okay, decisions, decisions. You know what? I think we can put a... Uh, let's put something down, uh, down here in the water, make it interesting. I'm going to grab a fan brush again. I'm going to go into some of this bright red. So I'm get bold here with some of this bright red. I'm going to pick a place. Let's say, oh, I don't know, maybe right here. Let's take it down like that, straight across, and up like that. Let's go over that one more time, just because. Right here, across, and up like that. Okay, set that aside. Maybe find uh, another little small round brush. I can get a hold of him here. Pick up a little bit more of that red. And let's just kind of detail this a little bit using that red color. Just kind of give him a point here. We'll do a little canoe here. Why not? A little canoe. Right like that. Wiping that brush off. And we'll go back. Pick up a little, uh, little that dark paint. Maybe just black paint with that small round brush. Let's go ahead and give us a place to sit in this thing. Cross like this. Darken him down there, maybe a little darker. Right here. And just kind of darken him down a little. Right in here. While we're at it, let's put a little color right at the base of this. Not too much, but we'll put a little, get a little shadow here at the base of this. Right in here. Maybe even right there a little bit. Okay, so if we can't darken him just a little more. Oh, there we go. That's good and dark. Right in here. All right, you know what? If you got a canoe, you have to have some place to sit. So let's use that same brush. I just wiped it off with a paper towel. I'm going to go into some of this titanium white. Let's run him across this way. See if we can't put a seat or two in here. I think we just did. Looks like a couple of seats. Okay. I'm going to grab my uh, palette knife again. Go underneath here. Just some dark color. Starting out, some dark color. A little shadow here in the water. A little shadow in the water. Find my small brush again. A little round brush, and let's just put a little reflection in the water while we're working here. Like this. Maybe it's out like that. Just a little reflection in the water. Kind 
I'm just scrubbing him in there. It looks like he's, it doesn't look like he's floating there in space. Let me find a little, little clean, little clean fan brush and pull down a little bit just to kind of give him a little shimmer, a little shimmer in the water. Just like this. Go back and find my palette knife one more time, wipe it off. Make sure I don't have too much green in there. Scrap a little bit more white. While we're working, let's go right underneath our little canoe here. Put a little bit more reflection, made a little bit more splash in the water. While I'm working with my palette knife, let's just put a few more details right in here. Find a fan brush, pull it around. While we're working, we might as well. Just like this. A little more detail on here just because. And you know what? I would say we're getting close to wrapping this one up. So I think we're going to go ahead and call this one close. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, if you get a chance to visit my website at kevinmillerart.com, if you happen to be in the area, come and visit my studio at 205 West Loveland Avenue in Loveland, Ohio. And remember, no matter what you do, keep painting. Take care. Thank you.